to honor existing commitments and to solve long-term global challenges. A pact for the future was adopted with a loud applause in New York by all United Nations member states, despite a draft amendment from the Russian delegation and a point of order to decide not to submit the draft to a vote. Tivison AU senior correspondent Femi Akonde has details. The United Nations was the destination as world leaders arrived to adopt a groundbreaking pact for the future to transform global governance. The pact is a strong statement of countries' commitment to the United Nations, the international system and international law. It is a commitment to a new beginning for multilateralism. It has to annex the global digital pact and the declaration the on future generations. This pact is the culmination of an inclusive, years-long process to adapt international cooperation to the realities of today and the challenges of tomorrow. This pact is designed to turbocharge implementation of the Sustainable Development Goals. Our summit of the future has given us a pact. The pact for the future just adopted represents our pledge not only to address immediate crisis, but lay the foundations for a sustainable, just, and peaceful global order for all peoples and nations. This is the most detailed agreement ever at the United Nations on the need to reform the international financial architecture so that it better represents and serves developing countries. Our world is going through a time and turbulence and a period of transition. But we cannot wait for perfect conditions. We must take the first decisive steps towards updating and reforming international cooperation and make it more networked, more fair, and more inclusive now. And today, thanks to your efforts, we have. Nigeria's Minister of Defense speaks on one of the key pacts, which is the most progressive and concrete commitment to Security Council reform since the 1960s, with plans to improve the effectiveness and representativeness of the Council including by addressing the historical underrepresentation of Africa as a priority. Uh, from 1960 in Congo, we have been uh, in 41 uh, different United Nations missions to provide security across the world. In addition to all the security we provided and support that we provided to West Africa and Africa. And uh, that shows how open how Nigeria has been and how committed Nigeria is in world peace. And uh, uh, based on that background and the effort of Africa, we also call on uh, the United Nations uh, to reform the United Nations Security Council so that Africa can have a permanence. The summit of the future is a once in a generation opportunity to enhance cooperation on critical challenges and address gaps in global governance, reaffirm existing commitments, um, including home, to the Sustainable the Development Goals and the United Nations Charter, and move towards a reinvigorated multilateral system that is better positioned to positively impact people's lives. Femi Akonde, TVC News, New York. In the meantime, the conflict between Israel and Hezbollah is intensifying.